For this next level, you have to sneak around, and they have uh, capture cameras that you have to destroy, and you fight Swinburne. Uh, so personally, you could use dual wield laser rifles. Um, I prefer, honestly, the linear rifle. Um, I use the laser rifles on Balt Baltius just to track where he is and keep his health down. But, I mean, if you want to look cool, you can try that out. Personally. Alright, so let's go to Central Bellius, Arquebus, Survey Base of the Wall. I need to eliminate 5 7 Swanbird of the Vespa. Um, I was watching some Liza P yesterday. Um, the Scrapper Watchman looked like a cool boss. Um, oh wow, they have a really pretty sky here. Check out the sky. We'll start this level. Start mission. Okay. So this mission, it starts off and has a massive red sky, uh, similar to Morrowind. It looks like the sun is crashing into the planet, or the air is becoming a part of Coral to some degree. Maybe it's just um, the Rubicon has been targeted so heavily that the sun has become the air. Okay. Like, they weren't talking about kings this entire time. They were talking about the heirs to the throne. Of air. Like, actual oxygen. No way, bro. Alright, so the first thing is over here. Obviously, I'm going to access it. The sketch. A masked battlefield artist. Said to be some of the last artists to dedicate his career to the art of Vanguard portraits. His works command a high value among the collectors. One of them offered a cup of coffee. Incredible. Look at this design right here. Look at the fans and how they stop when I step into them. Amazing. Alright, so it looks like there's patrols. Seems relatively simple. Relatively simple. There's a lot of surveillance MTs. Air says, Raven. There's a lot of surveillance MTs, Raven. Check to see where they're deployed. So clearly, there is a red sky right here. For sure. I'm very excited for the Institute. Very excited. So, this one did not see me, okay? Did not see me. I'm running straight ahead. This one's unaware. I auto locked onto him. He's unaware. This one's also unaware. Also unaware. Got one right there. Unaware. No idea I'm here. Got the bridge wide open. Across the street. Cut through behind them before they turn around. So it looks like they're still walking forward over there. Probably gonna turn around soon. Yeah. There they go, turning around. And that is in front of this thing. So the robots, they walk and patrol in the center and then they turn around. You cross the street behind them. Fairly easily. Continue. Got more people up here unaware. Others in alert. There's an alert. You can run a little bit. Still didn't fully capture me. You could destroy them too. If you get alerted, and you're still totally fine, so you don't fail the mission. But you can fail the mission if they get caught on alert. This tank, I don't understand. Let's destroy this thing real quick. 
because it noticed I was fighting a tank. You take out all the, the enemies in the location if they notice you're fighting, they don't fail because they'll alert and then you'll lose. So let's take this dude out. Let's take out this camera over here real quick before I lose the mission. And let's take out the tank again. So I still didn't lose, because I managed to take out all the cameras uh, before they could report me. They make it relatively, uh, they make it, like, they make it nice. Like if you, if the camera catches you, it's still fine. So they don't make it too punishing in a way that makes it feel upsetting. Obviously if you're watching the YouTube video, it's easy to reenact. But playing the game naturally, it's not. And not everybody knows that. Like, I personally always would play games without watching YouTube videos. Because the technology did not exist, unfortunately. I managed to make it all the way over here. There's no sign of the target, it seems. Perhaps he's out on night watch. Whoa, what was that over there? Raven, look over there. Alright, so I have to make up my way over there. Like there's a lot of motion. Something's going on. Let's approach from the right and then use this vertical launch pad to get up there. All these lawless ruffians—they never learn, do they? Huh? This isn't how the liberation front That's super simple. I did that in one try. As long as you take out the, like I said, as long as you take out cameras, you go undetected. Um, if you do get detected and it says alert, you can still destroy them and not lose. And then lastly, you just have to destroy the tank. And it's pretty simple. Okay. So I'm going to go fight Swinburne of Vespa. This boss is relatively simple to get to. If you get alerted, you can just destroy the dude. And then hide and it'll be good. And the alert is very nice. The Swinburn, I like to use the linear rifle and just tap R2. It's the charge R2. It's good, but it's difficult to hit him. He has a stun baton and a shield. So if you just keep tapping R2, you could charge up an R2 and then he'll dodge out of the way and you feel for a songbird. So you dodge and then you shoot a songbird at him. It's a little slow. And you just tap R2. Go for another charge R2. Good pull. I am able to missile. Very annoying. So this boss he does uh, heal up, and it looks like it blinks and he's about to shoot a missile at you, his white field. Your own way of how that works. AP at 50%. So I stunned him. I'm gonna go for the double laser. And the song for Nice dude. Looks like he healed up a bit. So you gotta fight this dude in the arena. I can't believe I didn't see the red sky once when Orbo was fighting him. Is that weird? So this guy does have a stun baton and melee potential. He also has a missile he can shoot at you. That's a close one. Go for a Songbird. 
moves anyway when he's stunning. So it's like very important to go for the laser. And then when he's like severely damaged and the song. Right? Yeah, I was trying to use the song for it, but it don't work. Get to hold R1 and shoot it. I guess I was like too busy reloading or something. There, I tried to do a charge linear rifle, it didn't work. Very annoying for me, personally. Think about I'm doing something, I should probably do it. I know how to hold R2. So melee, and then song for triple damage. Highly important you melee him, double melee him with a laser first. And then you song for it. They could stun him, keep him in place, and he doesn't move. I'm gonna keep tapping R2. This is a very difficult fight. Very easy to get to. The most potential is maximum. AP at 30%. It's a really nice linear rifle. Nice. Yeah. I just defeated Swinburne. It was weird. In Ouroboros video, I gotta see, you could decide if you want to save him or not. You could refuse. I couldn't do that in mine. But I defeated Swinburne, check out the red sky. Very cool. Rubicon everywhere. Rubicon overflow.